Damn, you know, I'd say, like, the prettiest flowers get picked first, you know? That's all that happens. Like, sucks that Pete died. I wasn't actually, I didn't really listen to much of him then when he did die. I couldn't really relate. I actually, kind of sad, but his death has actually kind of got me into his music just because of all the hype around it. So, I guess, you know, when you bury me, you'll be born again, right? Like, that sucks. XXX. I think they JFK'd him or something like that. That was crazy. But, yeah, even Mac Miller. That's that's. He, I was actually sad to see him go, because I was a fan of him at the time. But during his passing, and I was like, shit, like, you know, that's actually somebody that thought was good and actually like cared about. It. And I was like, damn. So, hey, what's up? This is the friend. This is Applying Pressure. I'm here with FXA. Uh. So I'm the friend I'm from Kitchener. Just recently started music. Got on a couple tracks with my boy Lucas. You know I'm. Pretty laid back, kind of stick to myself, do my thing. Hopefully the music will speak for itself. Uh, basically just being in the studio all the time. How I actually got my name was I was in studios with my boy Lucas all the time, and people were always like, yo, like, what do you do? I'm a producer. Or, what do you do? I'm an artist. What do you do? I'm like a promoter or whatever, and I was always just like, yo, like, I'm the friend. And so when I started making music, I was like, what am I? I'm the friend. That makes sense to me. So favorite cartoon character. Oh, shit. Um, Yugi Moto from Yu Gi Oh! Okay, the fucking heart of the cards. Yeah, I'm working on a couple of projects. My next release is gonna be called Crooked Scars. Check it out, it should be ready a couple of weeks from now. I think I think it slaps. Hopefully, you guys like it. I like it. My musical inspirations, I would say Kendrick for sure. That guy's a wizard. J. Cole, saw him a couple times. You know, like I just paints pictures and he's, he's got a message which I really like I feel like nowadays it's like there's just people just talking to anything why not use your I'm trying to be like a guy in a soapbox you know bring it back a bit when you see in the city or for I see I mean just getting hip hop's pretty cool I mean I listen to like EDM as well so I know there's definitely an EDM scene here but definitely hip hop for sure we need more clubs like they should make Dallas an actual club like, you see the lights and stuff in that place? Like, take the stage, make that a DJ booth, make the upstairs actual ballers, get some leather in there. We People buy spend hundreds on balls there. Oh, it'd be killer. I performed once with uh, Lucas at Harmony Lunch. It was crazy. That was, awesome. it was actually awesome. Thank you all for coming out for a show. I was hammered, too. It was fun. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, each one of them, I mean, damn. Damn, like, Free 21, that sucks. You know, I think it's because those lyrics he did in a lot. He talked about the border and stuff. At least that's what his lawyers are saying. But six nine, I mean that whole th that whole thing is nuts. I can't even imagine that. And then he said baby's log. Baby, baby's log. Shit. What would he do? I think I saw the video on World Star. Um, mainstream. I mean, if I could ever get to the mainstream, that'd be sick. I would definitely want to work with like, like get like an ASAP Ferg. Anybody in TDE. Kendrick would be crazy. Drake, Drake would be cool just because it's Drake. But any of those, and actually, I want to work with Marshmallow. Definitely as like a producer, that'd be sick. Or Carnage. It's medium guys. Locally, gonna keep making songs with my boy Lucas. I mean, anybody. I mean, right now I'm just start starting off, so I'll take a song with anybody. Let's, let's run it up. Like, yo, shout out Young Lungs. Shout out Natra. Let's make, let's make a hit. Mm, favorite album coming up. Growing up, that's a tough one. I mean, what got me into kind of rap music was Eminem's Encore. That was that was pretty hard. Some shady LP. Probably got me into it. Yeah, a lot of Eminem probably early on. I think. I don't know. I listen to like all types of music. I think that might help just my thought processes and how I get on flows. I think I'm trying to be here and send a message. Send a positive message, I think, will be my differentiator. I'm trying to bring back lyricism. Hopefully I can bring some bars to the game. Because right now, everyone's just talking nonsense. Uh, I'm not really a fan of social media. I didn't post online for almost a year and three, four months. Just because I was like, I don't know. People have 10,000 followers online and no friends. And people have... 200 friends and no followers you know like 
your follower count doesn't mean you're really doing anything, you know? Like, when you're really real, they're going to feed you anyways. So, I don't know. I don't really fuck with social media. Apparently, I have to now because this whole music thing. But as soon as I can, I'm getting off. Puya, Puya, I fucked with Puya Heavy coming out, like, in high school. I remember, like, Phil Shelby Puya, like, uh, running through the seven. That was crazy. Get Buck. That was, I remember being in, like, the hall, like, cafeteria just like tripping out to that like that was no I like Puya a lot damn you know I'd say like the prettiest flowers get picked first you know that's all that happens like sucks that Pete died I wasn't actually I didn't really listen to much of him then when he did die I couldn't really relate actually kind of sad but his death has actually kind of got me into his music just cause of all the hype around it so I guess you know when you're bury me and you'll be born again right like that sucks. XXX. I think they JFK'd him or something like that. That was crazy. But yeah, even Mac Miller. That's that's. You. I was actually sad to see him go, because I was a fan of him at the time. But during his passing, and I was like, shit. Like, you know, that's actually somebody that thought was good and actually like cared about. It, and I was like, damn. So, uh, I usually write, kind of. I prefer to write. My freestyles are kind of whatever. And I find I'll just go be going through the day and like random things was popping my head and I just kind of jot them down and next thing you know at the end of the day it's like I got a page there oh shit my favorite photo I'm like damn you know like Y3 Yoji Yamamoto that stuff's hard even though I don't think I look good in it so I don't wear it but I just appreciate the design of that shit that shit's fire uh, I've seen probably everybody live I've done OVO I've seen like Ray Schremer Meek Mill J. Cole Big Sean Ferg, Tory Lanez, Press at 80 Glam. Honestly, almost everybody. I was I had a raver phase. Just went to a lot of festivals. Saw a lot of different people. French Montana, Carnage, probably all the dubstep EDM guys. Actually, I'm going to go to Lost Lands. That's going to be crazy. Ever After is pretty dope, too. Ooh, where I'd really want to perform? Just Madison Square Garden. See your name in those lights? That's how you know you're like, you're legit. What the world should know about the friend is that if you throw me to the wolves, I come back leading the pack and shit. Yeah, easy. Thanks for having me, man. Still.